Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to do the final setup of the WordPress MySQL database using Docker Compose. This video is a continuation of a series, but if you have some background working with Docker containers, the session is going to be very straightforward. In case you face any challenges along the way, there are three videos ahead of this session. The first one is about installing Docker and Docker Compose in Ubuntu Linux computer on a cloud-based server. Then we have a proxy manager. This video explains how to set up a reverse proxy manager that you can use to point domains to your different containers. Then this video I created to explain how you can set up Potena on the cloud. Potena is a popular graphical interface for managing Docker images and containers. So in this video, we are going to use the third tool, which is Potena, to create a WordPress website. And in the video that will follow, we are going to use the Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager to configure SSL certificates for secure access of our cloud containers. We are going to use two images, that is WordPress image, MySQL image, and create two different containers using those images and make sure that the WordPress website is able to communicate with the database so that the website can run optimally. Let's get started. If you have been able to reach up to this level, the most difficult part of your work is done. The rest is going to be straightforward. All you need to have to do now is to look for images from Docker Hub. Or you can also look for Docker Compose files and you'll be good to go. Anytime you want to spin up a container, you just come to Stacks. Like now we are going to create a WordPress website in less than two minutes. Let's get started. Uh, we go to Stack, give it a name. Let's keep with the name that we have been using. Then from here, you can have your template repository like GitHub upload from your computer web editor. I prefer web editor so that I can modify the code as many times as I want. The link to this Docker Compose file is in the description section. Just copy as it is, paste it. I need to explain a, a few things before we can uh, run it. And the most important thing is for you to know that we are still keeping with the same structure. Uh, we have the first image here. As you can see, the image is WordPress. Uh, we have another image here called MySQL. All these images are going to come from Docker Hub. So uh, Docker will see that this image is not in our image. Okay, I'll check later in our image list here because we saw we only have Portainer and Nginx image. Uh, if it's not there, it's going to get it from the Docker Hub. Those are the two images we need for this particular session. We are going to map the WordPress and database to our volumes. And this is also important. We have IP1, as we saw. We said IP address number one is used by the gateway. We have 10 for Nginx Manager. We have 11 for Portainer. We can have 9 for WordPress and also we need another one here also we need another network here this we can have eight this need to come before the other one but it doesn't matter so much uh, make sure you change anything in orange color here so that uh, somebody doesn't see this video and they hack your da database so make sure you change that to your preferred settings you can also change the port to any number but make sure you change only the left side of the ports. This is for HTTP traffic, so you don't need to change it. Uh, it needs to be 80, but the other one can change. I've seen something else I need to change. We didn't put our WordPress container in the same network. As you can see here, it's in a different network. So let's put it there. I think as it is now should be good to go. Everything is self-explanatory. If you refer to the code where I explained the first Docker Compose file, everything is going to be the same all through. 
so you don't need to have to change anything else i need to check again to make sure everything is right if i've done it the right way just going to come down here leave everything as default you can select administrator you can restrict if somebody else is logging into this platform but i would recommend that don't allow anyone you don't trust access to this platform until you are comfortable with putting the security settings that you think that somebody can use this without interfering with their data so you come here and deploy if there is an error you you're going to get an error here if it's okay it's just going to deploy let's see it's deploying give it a few seconds and then we are going to know whether we are successful or not it's taking a little longer because these images were not downloaded on our server so depending on the speed of your network it might be fast or slow this will depend on the speed of your network and also the server that we created as you can see created successfully we have the stack here called BogTech. Let's go to the images section. And as you can see, the images were downloaded. WordPress latest. We have MySQL here. If you go to the containers section, we have uh, BogTech WordPress and BogTech DB. This is MySQL. The IP addresses as we are located. The reason why we are locating this ip addresses statically it's because the server sometimes allocate ip addresses dynamically when it restarts so if you don't use static ip addresses once in a while the server will restart and give new ip addresses to the containers and nginx proxy manager is going to stop working so it's always good to have them static the most important thing is the network and as you can see the network you are using at the moment is 172.20.0 this is the network that you have to put all your containers so that they are managed by one application i think so far so good all you need now is the port number that we use to create our wordpress website which is this and uh, we can copy our ip address from linode here copy then we said it's port 8081 enter and we just need to move with the next step so continue to install then site title we can call it bug tech blog then we can give it a, a username bog tech then hide this and create a password uh, my email i can use this for now don't discourage such engines because you need uh, your website to be ranked by google and other such engines then you can install after that give it a few seconds all is good uh, you can now log in Bog tech password login we have a wordpress website running on docker so the first thing is to go to settings general you are going to replace this with our domain in the future you can give a title bog bog tech docker save then you can go to writing you can change all this you can change all this but uh, i'm not going to change them if you know how to use wordpress uh, this is going to be uh, easy for you i just want to show you the ones that are important discussion this permalink this one you can change to this format so that it's friendly for the search engine themes for now we don't care about themes we just want to prove that it's working and then from there you can just you can just log out i can log out log out if i remove this section of logging in here so that we can have it 81 we have our wordpress website online 
working on Docker container. Just as simple as that. And it's using a MySQL database and the WordPress itself. We have connected two containers together. They're in the same network. One has dot nine IP address. The other one has dot eight. And it's working perfectly as you can see. So in the next section, we are going to configure some domains for these containers so that we can also enable HTTPS on them so that uh, we can access them securely from anywhere in the world. As you can see, the way we are accessing now, if somebody is using something to sniff our traffic, uh, they'll be able to get the passwords and everything that we are doing at the moment. So let's avoid that by creating SSL certificates in the next video. If you have watched the whole of this video, tell me in the comment section whether you want me to do a video on how to configure and set up a WordPress website. That is creating some pages, the content, having it optimized for search engine, making sure that it's indexed by the search engine, and all that is needed to have a personal website. I'll be waiting for your comments about that. Additionally, if you know how to create a WordPress website, either at basic level, intermediate or advanced level, please let me know how you feel about this video by liking or disliking it. Or you can as well leave a comment. I will respond to it as soon as I see it. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And also remember to activate the notification button.